has something on my lens. Maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Lori. I thought I'd do a little car chat today. I was just looking at my gas gauge and in the last six days, I've only used one fourth of a tank of gas. So I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I filled my tank up with $21 and some odd cents. So essentially I've used about $5 worth of gas in the last six days. So <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I pay attention to that. I never really used to, I guess, but <laughs> anyways, that even includes over the weekend, John and I, we had been down to his mom's and when we left there, we kind of took a drive. We just cruised around town took a drive around our hometown and just kind of checked out everything and we hadn't done that in ages we used to go for a cruise you know quite often but we haven't done that in a really long time so it's kind of like oh you know I guess they tore that house down the house is gone or look over there oh they put up a new fence or he wanted to drive by his friend's house and he got a new car it's like oh that's nice it's like honey we're old <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, yeah, we had been down to my mother-in-law's. I want to give you a really quick update on her because I know there's a couple people that sometimes ask me how she's doing. So quick update on my mother-in-law. If you don't know, she had major surgery, more than one major surgery, six months ago. She has been hospitalized either in the hospital or in a rehab facility or a nursing home for six months. She just came home four days ago. The day that she came home, she had a doctor's appointment that morning and it was for an MRI. Why would they schedule that on a day when she's coming home? I don't know, but they did. She had the MRI and they sent her home. Okay. She wasn't home for more than a couple hours and she got a call from her doctor. And it was not good news. She has to go back in three days from now, and she has to have another back surgery, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's so crazy, I don't even know what to say. There is a gigantic tractor, and he has a big ditch on that side, so I'm going to have to practically stop. I don't want to make him go in the ditch, and I don't want him to hit me either, so here we go. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so she has to go back and have another back surgery. And the hospital where she's having her surgery is two hours away from our hometown, which is her hometown too. But, oh my gosh. So she will only have been home for like seven days. And she has to go, six days really, and she has to go right back. For how long? I have no idea. But they told her that it was going to be another really long surgery, probably take all day. Okay. Let me give you now an update on me. Today, I'm starting a different fitness regimen. It's something a little different than I've tried, ever tried before, really. So I'm gonna, I'm, I've started that today, and I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about it. And the reason is because I wanna see how it works for me first. The last time I did an HCG round, um, I didn't get down to like my my goal weight, if you want to call it a goal weight. I didn't get down to my comfortable weight. And I would like to get down to my comfortable weight without HCG because I want to prove to myself that I can, for one thing. And I, I don't want to keep leaning on HCG all the time. I just want to do it without it. So. Yeah, I will tell you all about it, but I may need to tweak things a little bit, and I can tell you that it, I will be low carb. I'll definitely be low carb. I'm not going to call myself keto. I'm going to be doing, you know, like keto friendly foods for the most part, but I am going to be just low carb. Um, that's not a whole lot different than it has been, but the past, I'm going to say week or two, I've been eating things I shouldn't. Not a lot, just here and there, and I can tell. I mean, I can really tell, so I just, certain things I know I shouldn't have, but I do once in a while. I, I just need to get myself down to an acceptable weight and back to 
my fitness routine in the weight room. So, yeah, that's actually where I'm going to go as soon as I get home. And tomorrow's video will be, I'm, I'm going to show you guys the weight room, what it's looking like now that Brendan cleaned it all out and it's all rearranged. I've done a weight room tour before, if you want to call it a tour, <laughs> but it's been a long time ago and I'm just going to show you guys the weight room again. So I know I have um, mentioned doing that in some comments recently and tomorrow is when that's going to go up. So anyway, I wanted to start this regimen. It's going to be like on a schedule. It is going to be on a schedule because I need some kind of structure right now because I'm not working as much and I just need something that's <laughs> structured. You know what I mean? So I've just made it up myself and I may, might need to tweak it like I said before. So once I get it all figured out and I know that it's working for me, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> One way or another, I'm going to tell you all about it even if it doesn't work out for me and I do something else. But yeah, so I saw Vicki Marie living life this morning. Her video, she talked about pretty much the same thing. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I was thinking, you know, kind of in it together. <laughs> we got this, Vicki. Okay, and whoever else is on a fitness journey, we got this. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I'm almost home. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.